Welcome to Parent Booker. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how an admin user should reset Parent Booker each year during the summer vacation. This is important because each year, parents and children will leave the school and new parents and children will join. It's important to reset the service hours and the volunteer opportunities in the system so that the system is not cluttered up and slowed down or showing information from the prior year. To access the facility to reset or perform the annual reset, log in as an administrator. If you don't see the administrator function here in the menu bar, then please email support at parentbooker.com, letting us know your username and confirming that you're not an admin so that we can upgrade you to be an admin user. Here, I'm gonna show you how to access the annual reset function. First, click on admin. Now in the submenu under admin, you will see an item annual reset. Click on annual reset. The annual reset function is typically disabled during the school year and it's only accessible between June and September. This set of functions is especially destructive and sensitive, so it's important that you use this very carefully. There are a number of functions here that you will want to perform. Perform each function one at a time. To perform a function, such as resetting service hours, you will check the box, you will add a, uh, answer a security question. This is just to check you're a human being and it will ensure that you don't do something inadvertently and then click Submit. Before I do that, let me show you how to perform each of the functions and what they do. The first item here is Reset Service Hours. By resetting service hours, you will erase all records of service hours that have been performed by parents. That's the manually entered service hours entered using service hours where they get a form to enter specific service hours. Here, it's saying there are 18 records for service hours in the system, and this has never been reset. You can see in each of these items when the last time this action was performed, this reset action. So you can be careful not to inadvertently, repeatedly perform some of these destructive tasks. And you can see when it was last performed and also which user did that. So if you were happy that you wanted to re reset the service hours, you would check here, reset service hours. That's going to re remove these 18 records. You might have hundreds or thousands of records, obviously, for your school. You will enter the calculation here, 2 times 3 is 6, it's a simple one, and hit Submit. And here, the system has now gone to reset the service hours, and now there are now zero service hour records. Next, reset volunteer events. You may have dozens of volunteer events for the prior school year, and you don't want those to show up in the next school year. So here, we can see in the system, in this school, there are 27 opportunities set up, with a number of slots and tasks, um, and this has never been reset. I'm not going to perform this action, but were I going to do it, I would click Reset Volunteer Opportunities, sorry, Reset Volunteer Events, and then I would answer the very simple math question, and then hit Submit. And that will reset and remove all the prior year's volunteer opportunities, including all the people, the record, records of which parents before performed which service hour events, which volunteer events. So this will reset and remove all service hour records. And so you will not be able to go back and access those, that information again once you've done this reset. Next, there are two functions, and it's very important you perform these in sequence, that roll families and students up by one grade. The first item is remove families who, have a, who only have students in the top grade. So if you're a K through eight school, you may have families that have children in the eighth grade who are now leaving because it's now the summer. Some families may have additional children in eighth grade leaving, but may have children in lower grades. They will not be affected. They will still remain at the school and the family records will be retained. This will only remove those families that have children in the top grade, whether it's K through eight, and that's the eighth grade only, or if it's K through 12, you may have families with children only in the 12th grade only. This will remove those children and the families in the system that only have children in that top grade. 
So here it says zero families will be affected, um, but I obviously you'll likely have quite a few. Here I can check the box, answer the math, hit submit, and it will perform that reset. It's fairly quick. You cannot undo this function. And you can see here, it's recorded that I performed this function, my username, and the exact time that I did it. Next, Ripple Children Up One Grade. This is only available to schools that have one class per grade. The system is not clever enough to know if you have multiple classes per grade, which children roll up into which classes in the next grade. So this is only available to schools that have one class per grade. It's very important to perform this only after you have removed families who have one student in top grade. Otherwise, uh, you will uh, confuse the system and, and create the data anomalies. So be sure to use this function first to remove families in the top grade and then perform the ripple children up one grade. To do this, what will happen is all children in kindergarten will be shifted up to the first grade class, first graders will be moved to second grade, etc. So it's important to only perform this once. If you do this twice, you will roll children up two grades. So be very careful to check the, the date this was last performed here, and this has never been performed, so make sure you don't inadvertently ripple people up two grades. As it says here, do not perform this operation more than once per year. Again, to perform the function, you check the box, answer the simple calculation, and click Submit. Finally, reset students. It is not recommended you do this unless you're willing to have all parents go back in and register their children again. So this will not destroy the family records and their logins, but it will remove all record of children. And families will be, you will need to tell families to go back into the system and record their children. This is a function you may want to use if you're a school that has more than one grade, sorry, more than one class per grade. So again, if you have a school with one class in each grade, use the ripple children up one grade function. If you have a school with multiple child, uh, grade child classes for each grade, you may want to use the reset students function. Again, this will be this is something that should only be performed once a year, and it will remove all records of all students and what classes they are in. So be very careful using this function. To perform the function, simply again check the box, answer the simple question and hit submit. If you don't answer the question correctly or don't answer it at all, it will not perform the function. And you'll be able to know that because it'll give you an error and it will show here that you have not performed it based on the username and date. If you have any questions about performing the annual reset using ParentBooker, please email support at parentbooker.com.